Today, on 10 Minutes Travel, we are introducing our list of 15 top-rated attractions and things to do in Barbados. This small Caribbean island is a paradise, boasting stunning beaches and clear blue waters. What makes Barbados even more special is its people. The locals are very welcoming, and the island has a British feel to it, with cricket, horse racing, polo, high tea, and cars driving on the left side of the road. Apart from the stunning coastline, Barbados has many other attractions, such as caves, historic sites, gardens, plantations, a wildlife preserve, and multiple points of interest in the capital city, Bridgetown. Those who enjoy spending time in the sea will find plenty of activities to do, like snorkeling, diving, swimming, and fishing. To learn more about the island and what to do there, have a look at our list of attractions and activities in Barbados. Number 15. The beaches of Carlisle Bay, on the outskirts of Bridgetown, is one of the most alluring places in Barbados. Its breathtaking sandy shores and its tranquil turquoise waters make it an ideal spot to dip your feet or lay out a beach towel. Pebble Beach is one of the most renowned segments, but Browns and Bayshore beaches are also ideal locations. You can splash around, rent a stand-up paddleboard, or simply lay down and relax. If you wake up early enough, you can watch the horses getting a wash in the bay and the morning sunrise. Moreover, there are washrooms and showers at the top of the beach, and if you are staying at the Hilton Barbados Resort or the Radisson Aquatica Resort, you can easily access the beach from your doorstep. Number 14. Hunter's Gardens Anthony Hunt's years of hard work have resulted in the creation of the beautiful Hunter's Gardens. The gardens are placed in a ravine in the middle of the island and its terraced slopes provide a variety of spaces with stairs and trails. Visitors can find different types of plants, from large palm trees to unusual species, and they can also spot different kinds of birds and animals. If you are coming with a pet, they are permitted as long as they are on a leash. Number 13, Downtown Bridgetown. Bridgetown, the capital of the country, has a lot to offer, but it's also great for simply strolling around, doing some shopping, or having a bite to eat. The heart of the city is easy to get around, and most of the attractions are close together and can be explored on foot. The Parliament buildings, with their neo-Gothic style design and bell tower, and the National Heroes Square, are two of the main attractions in the city's core. Right across from the Parliament buildings is the scenic Chamberlain Bridge, with a view of the Constitution River, commonly referred to as the Careenage. From the bridge, you can see sailing boats docked in the river, and the cheerful buildings which line the waterfront walkway. Journey into the interior to discover the Nidi Israel Synagogue, St. Michael's Cathedral, and the ancient Baobab tree situated in Queen's Park, which has been around for 1,000 years. Make sure to schedule enough time to traverse the Garrison Historic Area and view George Washington House, the Garrison Tunnels, the Guard House, and the Barbados Museum. Number 12. Bathsheba Bay. Along the craggy Atlantic shore, Bathsheba Bay furnishes a spectacular view of the sea's destructive strength. This beach, favored by surfers but not suitable for swimming, is decorated with significant rock formations fashioned from old coral reefs that have been worn down by the ceaseless surf. The sea in the bay is shallow, and the waves produce a white foam, which led to the nickname Soup Bowl, familiar to surfers all over the globe. As you arrive at Bathsheba Bay, the road goes downhill from a high plateau to the sea and continues alongside the waterfront. You can observe the remains of a staircase and a structure in the waves, and a bit further on is a restaurant and vendors selling goods. Stop here and march down to the beach or have lunch. If you are searching for an alternate place to eat, carry on past this area and up the hill to the Atlantis Historic Inn and have a meal at the hotel's restaurant. Just beyond the Atlantis, the De Garage restaurant is a more relaxed option. When visiting Bathsheba, it is possible to make time for a tour of the nearby Andromeda Tropical Botanic Gardens and the Flower Forest Botanical Gardens. Number 11, St. Nicholas Abbey. The Grand Manor at St. Nicholas Abbey was established in 1658, and the stories related to the estate are as captivating as the plantation itself. Despite the name, the abbey was an estate and never had any spiritual affiliation. Throughout the centuries, the property went through multiple owners, but it is currently owned by Larry and Anna Warren, who bought it in 2006. They have renovated the estate and are now running it as a sugar plantation. 
Tourists can take a tour of the property to see antiques, understand the operations, and explore the surroundings, which takes around two hours. Nearby is Cherry Tree Hill, a well-known observation point with panoramas of the island and out to the sea on the Atlantic side. If you have some free time, particularly if you are not visiting places like Farley Hill National Park or Welchman Hall Gully, which have their own stunning sights, it is worth pausing to have a glance. Number 10. Animal Flower Cave At the northern end of Barbados, one of the must-visit destinations is the Animal Flower Cave. It not only has a cave but also offers breathtaking views from the lookout point. From February to April, humpback whales can be spotted from the cliffside above the cave. It is highly recommended to take a guided tour that lasts for 15-20 minutes. A set of stairs leads to the entrance of the cave, and large openings offer a glimpse of the ocean. These windows also light up the cave, avoiding any kind of claustrophobia. Above the cave, there is a restaurant and several kiosks selling souvenirs. The restaurant offers amazing views and has an open deck viewing area which is especially crowded when whales visit the area. By standing at the observation point right next to the cave opening, you can take in the stunning view of the coastal scenery. Gigantic waves crash against the deteriorating cliffs and shoot a cloud of mist into the sky. If you want to enjoy a greater level of spelunking and a more thrilling experience, Harrison's Cave is the ultimate destination. Number 9. Friday Fish Fry at Oyston's If you are questioning what to do in Barbados in the evening, Oyston's Friday Fish Fry is your solution. Every Friday you can have freshly grilled fish that has been caught in the area. There are a great many vendors who set up shop, providing a vast selection of fish and side dishes. Both islanders and tourists come to enjoy the food and environment. Picnic tables and tents with plastic tables act as temporary eateries. Moreover, vendors sell jewelry and other trinkets on the ocean side of the area. If you happen to be in Barbados on a Friday, you should definitely experience this. Plus, it is one of the few activities in Barbados that cost nothing. The fish fry usually starts at 6 p.m. and continues until late in the night. Number 8. Barbados Wildlife Reserve Barbados Wildlife Reserve is a great spot to observe some of Barbados's most iconic animals, particularly the green monkeys. It's not uncommon to spot the monkeys engaging with other creatures at the reserve, amusing themselves by teasing tortoises and other animals. Meandering pathways wind through the mahogany forest in this tranquil park. Agoutis, monkeys, deer, tortoises, and iguanas roam around within the bounds of the park providing ideal conditions for photography and hands-on encounters. Other creatures include parrots, caiman, maras, and snakes. Make sure to be in the park at 2 p.m. when feeding time kicks off. The admission fee to the park also covers access to the Grenade Hall Forest and Signal Station, located across the parking lot from the reserve. Number 7. George Washington House George Washington House is more than just a museum. It has something for everyone including a set of historically significant subterranean tunnels. The first president of the United States lodged here for two months in the late 1700s, alongside his ailing brother, in the hopes that the favorable climate of Barbados would help to cure his tuberculosis. Visitors to the house can get a sense of what life was like during this era since the rooms and decor have been maintained to their original state. After exploring the museum, those who are feeling adventurous can make their way underground. Nine tunnels, spanning over two miles in length, were unearthed in 2011 during building work for the cafe. These corridors, all of which were hand-carved from stone, are quite narrow, so they may not be suitable for those with a fear of enclosed spaces. However, they are sure to thrill any thrill-seekers. Number 6. Harrison's Cave if you're looking for a change from the scorching, hot and bright days of Barbados, then take a trip beneath the surface to Harrison's Cave. The journey is available to almost anyone, as all that's required of you is to get into a tram. The cave is not overly illuminated, but the major stalagmites and stalactites are lit up with their own special effects. Some of the highlights include flowstones, silent pools and streams. If you're interested in exploring even further, you can book an eco-tour, which is available twice a day and is led by a guide. If you don't have your own transport, you can book a Harrison's Cave Tour that will pick you up from most resorts and hotels on the island. Number 5. Welchman Hall Gully 
Welchman Hall Gully is a stunning tropical garden that stands out from the rest of the gardens on the island due to its natural atmosphere. As visitors stroll along the wide, accessible path, they will be surrounded by trees and gardens that were formed from the ruins of caverns. The garden is home to a variety of plants, from bamboo trees to flowers, as well as a pond and a monkey play area, where you'll find green monkeys in the mornings. You'll also find rare species of plants that can only be found in Barbados, plus endangered plants and animals. To get a breathtaking view of the rolling hills and the sea, visitors can climb up the stairs near the entrance and relax in the covered shelter with the accompanying benches. Number 4. Andromeda Botanic Gardens Meandering pathways of bricks, stepping stones, and grass traverse the picturesque sloping terrain of Andromeda Botanic Gardens. Exotic plants from around the globe are arranged in various sections forming cozy enclaves. Some of the attractions are the towering palms, rhododendrons, and a colossal bearded fig. These trees were once ubiquitous on the island, and they captivated the Portuguese sailors who named the island Barbados, which translates to bearded ones. From the elevated point of the garden, the view of the ocean is breathtaking. However, bear in mind that the trails here are bumpy and in certain areas steep, making them impassable for visitors with mobility difficulties. Andromeda Botanical Gardens only applies organic methods and collaborates with research conducted by the University of the West Indies. Number 3. Barbados Museum Enjoyment can be had from a trip to the Barbados Museum not only because of its collections, but also due to the fact that it is housed in a historically significant building that was once used as a military prison and has been expertly preserved. The museum, which opened in 1933, has been bolstered by various Barbadians over the years and now boasts a large number of items amounting to more than 500,000 that showcase the evolution and history of the island country. Each exhibit has its own dedicated space in the building and is accompanied by an informative description. Number 2. Flower Forest The flower forest offers an unexpected delight to those in the hills of the middle of Barbados. Pathways are lined with vibrant flowering plants and trees, and considerable benches with shade offer places to rest and unwind. Every moment, something bright and sweet-smelling is blooming in the 53-acre tropical forest. From the elevated spots, one can take in the stunning views of the rolling hills and further out to the sea. While the roadway to the flower forest is steep and slim, it is paved and not as intimidating as it initially appears. Number 1. Atlantis Submarine Atlantis. Submarine's night tours offer a chance to explore the underwater world when sunlight is not present. The time of the dive is carefully chosen to allow visitors to experience the beauty of the pre-sunset hours and then sink to the bottom of the sea before the darkness of night settles. Once it is completely dark, the lights are switched on to illuminate the area and reveal the shipwrecks on most occasions. This night dive is an extraordinary underwater experience. If you are a fan of scuba diving in Barbados and want to try something different, then an Atlantis submarine night dive is the perfect opportunity to do so and even share the experience with a non-scuba enthusiast. When you find yourself in a submarine underwater at night, the distinct difference from a day dive becomes more evident.